tell you better, but I pretty much a jellyfish when I got here. My legs would move, but I'd have to think about moving. It was very difficult mentally to have things not work when you want them to work. I want my leg to go here. It doesn't go there. And um, that's what the job they do is to get the legs to work and build up muscle because I had no muscle. I'd just been laying in bed. I'd been in the hospital for two months. And um, there was no PT there. You just lay in bed, you eat. You can walk around um, in the wheel around in the wheelchair. But then you get stronger and stronger and you take physical therapy. I go to PT. I come to PT here <clears throat> from my room down the hall four times a week. And they're not open on weekends, so I get one day off, Wednesdays off. But I can come in. They're very accepting of you know people who want to come in here and do a little extra credit work. So I can get on the bicycle, stationary bicycle machine, and use that if nobody's using it. And if they're not real busy, they'll say, we want you to try this. And they, they push me to do things. And that's what you need from PT. Shelly will say, do this three times, something that's difficult for me at the time. And then she says, all right, do it once more. And I go, oh, no. <laughs> but that's the way they are. They're tough guys. So I started off doing things from the wheelchair. And then I got on the parallel bars. And the next step is to be using this. And um, hopefully, I'll be able to use a cane, maybe. And uh, then maybe just walk. We'll see what happens. That's very important is not being too sure of yourself. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. Always want to be safe. Oh, here. Do I start here? Or you want me to start? Come on in to the parallel bars. I'm going to get the chair in as well. All right, we started here. Ready? Wait, wait. Oh, lock See, this. See, very important thing. See, that now you I, got, to do. I got distracted. That's all right. All right, so Locking gonna, the brakes is yeah. always essential. Lock the brakes so when you get up, this doesn't go flying. Down, and then I'll get up like this. And I had a problem with dizziness when I stand up because I was laying down so much. When I stood up, and now, well, it's working pretty good today. Turn. Yep, turning around. And I learned how to turn last week. That was a big thing. It might have even been two weeks ago. Yeah. So I don't notice the progress as much as the staff here does because it's little things every day for me. And they see a huge progression. I'll turn around again. Yeah, if you want to have a seat, we can shift to the walker. Okay. Next. All right. Well, I've been working with Fred for one month um, now. Uh, Fred came to us, I think, the middle of February, and I did start therapy then, but he was quite tired and wasn't progressing with me, so his focus was primarily with physical therapy to gain strength. And when, um, Fred, when you got to a point where you had more energy and more strength, that could carry over into some functional activities, that's when I rejoined the picture um, with his rehab. Yeah, and on um, last week, Fred made a pizza for us. So he was busy working over two days in our rehab kitchen, and he made sauce from scratch. First, let it sit overnight. And then we, we um, bought um, pizza dough in the supermarket. We used that to make two 14-inch pizzas with the sauce that I made, and it came out great. Yeah, we all had several pieces, and uh, Fred's pizza joint was a big hit. I'm going to walk in the kitchen. Oh, we got to concentrate when do this. Okay. This ain't making pizza, but you gotta drink water. One of the things when you go home, you want to be able to feed yourself and get water and stuff. Okay, then we'll do that. We'll let her. The best. Okay. You gonna turn? I do not. No, I absolutely don't. 
we're just trying to honor her request. So if, one, if a person walks into the gallery, they may see me in that or in this. If they wait long enough, maybe it's something else, like a cane. This injury was caused by uh, cancer. It's either at the muscle or maybe the nerves that go down to my leg. So it has to be retrained and re-strengthened. So I can be hopping around. You okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, the chair's for the 20th. So that's okay. And you've been in the hospital at least a month before that. I went into the hospital on January 21st. First Addison Gilbert, and then they transferred me after a week to Beverly Hospital where I was for about a month. And then I came here to Denmark in Rockport. So you've been here longer than five to six weeks. You've been in rehab since February. When you have something like this happen to you, um, a lot of it is just lost. It's like a dream. Almost three months. Almost three months. Almost. Your spine and your nerves and your muscles so that the message wasn't getting there. Mm -hmm. um, so we weren't sure if... It was a suspicion and I said, uh, I said, well, if you're not sure, I'm not going to quit. Why don't you ask my doctors that question? Because mm -hmm. they're the ones with that information. Yeah. And uh, Kelly sent a, a fax to, to uh, my radiologist. Says, Do you think he should continue with Citing my progress, do you think he should continue on this course of physical therapy? His reply was one word, Y E S. Yes. So here I am, and I'm very happy. But it wasn't like going to the classes kids a little bit. This is so much fun. You have to collect. So this is my friend, the bicycle. The hardest part is getting my feet in these little stirrups. This one is also a tough one. In the beginning, I had to have help every time getting my feet in the stirrups. Got to hold on to this because I don't want the wheelchair to go back. Right distance. Lock her down. Hold on with one hand. It, it, it's so much fun. You can set it for different programs, presets, resistance. Number three. So I've done 20 minutes at resistance number three, but you know when I sit on sit on this uh, not sitting on but when I run this bicycle, I think of being on my real bicycle, riding through Pigeon Cove around the back shore, you know, that's something I really want to do again. And to, it's horrifying to me, really scary to think that I would never be able to do that again. Ride the bike. My bike just sitting in the basement. So there's a lot to be gained by taking care of yourself and staying in shape. And uh, you get sick, go to the doctor and recover. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. It's working. I'm actually like, it's killing me. I'm actually I got a lot of support from my friends. Marty, Donna Artizoni, Captain Ryan, Captain Chapman. I don't want to leave anybody out, but everybody who's come to visit me. And probably some really cool presents. Lisa Breen brought me a little herb garden, which is now in my room. I just love it.